This video brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop. Com. Sonic with a K. <laughs> Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, March 4th. The sequester crisis and what should be done. Despite what the media and politicians would have us believe, the United States did not collapse last Friday when the package of spending reductions known as sequestration went into effect. The financial markets hardly blinked as they have come to be more skeptical about these periodic government hype crises. What had been portrayed as a drastic reduction in government spending was merely a decrease in the projected rate of increase in government spending over the next decade. Under sequestration, government spending increases by $2.4 trillion over the next 10 years rather than the $2.5 trillion without it. So we are speeding toward collapse at only 100 miles per hour instead of 110 miles per hour. Some in Congress are using the panic over sequestration to justify another surrender of legislative authority to the executive branch. These members want to pass the buck on prioritizing federal programs by giving the president, cabinet officials, and high-level bureaucrats authority to set spending priorities. However, it is Congress's job to set priorities in federal spending. The drafters of the Constitution give the legislature the authority over spending because they recognize it was a threat to liberty to allow this power to be concentrated in the executive branch. Congress's willingness to cede more authority to the executive should be opposed by everyone who values liberty and limited government. Some of the loudest objections to sequestration have come from the champions of the military-industrial complex. Yet under sequestration, defense spending will still increase by 18% over 10 years as opposed to 20% without sequestration. There are claims that the military will face a one-time real reduction back to the 2007 levels of spending before beginning to climb again next year. That remains to be seen. However, few claimed at the time that the 2007 levels of military spending occurring as they did during the huge post-9-11 buildup were inadequate. But despite the fact that the U.S. spends more on military than the rest of the world combined, we are told that even this modest short-term reduction would be, in the words of outgoing Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, shameful and irresponsible. A return to the 1980s level of military spending in real dollars, a time of significant military buildup, is considered outrageous, even though the U.S. faces no Soviet Union or equivalent threat. In fact, the entire amount is supposed to save, is, could be realized by cutting one unneeded wasteful boondoggle, the $1.5 trillion F-35 fighter program. The F-35, built as the next generation all-purpose military fighter and bomber, has been an unmitigated disaster. Its performances in recent tests have been so bad that the Pentagon has been forced to dumb down the criteria. It is overweight, overpriced, and unwielding. It is also an anachronism. We no longer face the real prospect of air-to-air -air combat in this area of fourth-generation warfare. The Mustang, the P-51, the longest-range fighter in the world. The World War II mid-air dogfight era is over. As defense analyst Winslow Wheeler wrote last year, it's time for Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, the U.S. Military Service, and Congress to face the facts. The F-35 is an unaffordable mediocrity, and the program will not be fixed by any combination of hardware tweaks or cost control projects. There is only one thing to do with the F-35. We should not look for cancellation of the F-35 program anytime soon, however. The military-industrial complex understands the political necessity of spreading its military Keynesianism as widely across the congressional districts as possible. Despite the rhetoric, there appears no intention on the part of the government to take our fiscal crisis seriously or abandon the idea that we should run the rest of the world. This video brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop dot com. Sonic with a K. <laughs> Hip Hop and Urban Media Production for the Liberty Community. Vids, graphics, top quality tunes. The Humble Riddler Report can't even begin to do justice to their quality, so check them out where they are. Sonic 
hiphop.com, Sonic with a K. 